What's going on guys? Welcome to another cause and effect video. It's been a while uh, since we've done anything on this channel, but I'm nice and settled at my new apartment on the other side of the country. And I thought, hey, now that everything's all set up, I mean, even if it is a little bare bones, let's just make a video and see what we can create. So uh, last video, we did the mythical beast for China. So this time I thought we would continue the, the Eastern part of the world trend and I head on over to Russia and do the mythical beast of the motherland. And uh, I'm pretty excited for this one. It's been a while. But as always, if you enjoy this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and of course, leave a comment down below because I'd love reading your comments. If you have any suggestions, I will of course take them and I will do my absolute best uh, to create whatever Photoshop monstrosity you want me to see. We're going to be challenging uh, myself or we're going to be taking on some challenges that are a little bit different in the future. But I thought, hey, let's start here with a Photoshop video. So uh, just a generic one. Well, not generic. You know, we put our own spin on things and we create a really unique beast. So let's Let's dive right into it. I'll keep on chit-chatting. And uh, we've got the beast right here. We've got the polar bear to start. Uh, we've got another creature uh, next to the polar bear here. Uh, it's called the Blackstone's Fish Owl. It's a pretty unique creature. And I really like its little fuzzy tufts. It's a funny looking beastie. And then we've got the Wolverine, of course. The Stellar's Sea Eagle, which is just a beast. And of course, we needed a horned animal. So we got uh, the Caribou or Russian Reindeer. And we got the Siberian Tiger because Tigers live in Russia, of, all, of course they do. So uh, there's lots of wild creatures living out there. So without further ado, we'll get in on it and start with this tiger here. So uh, for a lot of this, I tried kind of cheap in it. Uh, you know, big parts that I was gonna use but didn't need too much detail on, I tried to uh, do it as simple as possible and just use the magic wand. But uh, it's been a while since I've done any Photoshop. So this one, uh, it was a little bit clumsy. Uh, and you'll notice throughout uh, that uh, it's very clumsy, but uh, I had a lot of fun with it. and It was really nice just get back in the groove So uh, first thing like we said we got the Siberian tiger super beastie cat there I'm pretty sure the Siberian tiger is actually the biggest of all the uh, cats out there and I'm uh, moving on We got the tiger pretty quick. It's the body. Uh, we're moving on to this funny little polar bear And uh, I should have found a better face that kind of was facing at the same angle as this guy But uh, I'm actually pretty happy with how I figured this out and how I got it to look so uh, we mount this polar bear face right on the tiger and uh, it looks sharp uh, I'm using a variety of tools here I don't not, like I said I'm a little rusty it's been a couple of months since I made a video uh, but this turned out nice I got a nice little shape going on for uh, the polar bear so it kind of looks like instead of him looking dead on at you uh, he's got like his face kind of to the side and it looks pretty good I'm happy with it and a uh, little around the ears I spent a lot of time trying to get these ears nice and clean even though I didn't ultimately use them uh, but of course you know how it is uh, we clean things up a little bit make it a little tighter and then of course we go to the fuzzing I haven't clicked the fuzzing tool yet oh there it is yes the fuzzy it's so fun I don't know why what I call it I just make things look fuzzy so I call it the fuzzing tool but uh, it's one of my favorite tools that we use in these challenges because it makes cropping out furry animals a lot easier because uh, I'm always second guessing myself when I'm cutting these animals up because uh, you know it has to look clean look good but once I discovered this fluffing tool uh, it really threw that all out the window I could be as clumsy as I wanted to and it's gonna look decent and uh, there we go I added a little shadow to make it look like it's actually on the body and looking over at us and uh, I think it turned out pretty good this is a pretty good start honestly and uh, we move right into the caribou or the uh, reindeer horns now I wanted to use the reindeer because I don't know a whole lot about um, Russian animals but one thing that I do know about Russian animals is that up north in Siberia they have a ton of like reindeer herders and these uh, people just live this kind of nomadic lifestyle so uh, there were two iconic animals uh, one of them I didn't include originally the brown bear like that's totally a Russian animal um, I used the polar bear instead uh, but I knew I needed the reindeer and the reindeer kind of have this interesting story to them but it is really cool that uh, these tribes that live up north in Siberia just hang out here and have a good relationship with the uh, reindeer now you might have just missed it there but I just spent super long trying to carve out an antler and I misclicked and undid it all so then in my frustration I tried doing the easy way and skipping a bunch of steps and uh, ultimately wasted a lot of time doing that which is why you want to uh, not try to rush through these things and not that I was rushing but uh, I was feeling rusty and I was just going back on some of my um, my more uh, pro moves and uh, I was a little too rusty to execute them so I decided to just after suffering with this for a while, I thought I'd just start chopping. Now, uh, antlers, 
often take a pretty long time to do. As you can see, even now, I'm still trying to figure out what to do. What am I even doing here? Uh, but it's starting to turn out. I uh, like that the horn kind of goes down the center of the face, which is kind of cool. And I thought that that would look good on the polar bear. And uh, I'll let you can let me know what you think, how it looks on the polar bear once I set it up. Uh, but now that we're on the horns and the horns take a while, this is a perfect opportunity to remind you that if you're enjoying this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave a comment because, of course, I read all the comments. And uh, let me know what you guys think about me including a video in this. I got my video on the side, my face. I don't know if I'm looking down at stuff or looking up at stuff. <laughs> I don't know where I'm putting it yet, but uh, I think it would be, I thought it was a nice touch to add and, um, you know, makes it a little bit more personal instead of just a voice you can see my face and it's not like a mess with too much of the other settings on the side so i'll probably just color cover up uh, the color panel the swatches and uh, i'll just be fl a floating head but uh, like i said i told you these antlers take a long time so uh, we're working through there um so maybe we'll we'll tell a little story so um recently i moved up north and uh, they actually have reindeers where I live. Well, we don't call them reindeers here. They're caribou. And I live so far north in Western uh, Canada now. I'm living in BC. I moved from Ontario that uh, when we got into this town where we're living now, we saw, we saw signs that were warning us about caribous. So uh, I guess uh, we're really that far north. There's moose out here, deer, everything like that. And uh, maybe uh, I was destined to be out here with my horn obsession, apparently, in all these videos, because uh, I definitely like the majesty of these uh, horns and look at them they look so cool right off the bat so uh throw them onto our uh good old polar bear look sharp i like it i had to shrink it because these horns were so big but uh, i ended up having some fun with them because i decided to um do a warp job here now for some reason i remembered being able to warp them this way and perhaps you can but i decided to do it another way control t bring it up so i can uh, stretch things out and it gives it like a wider feeling makes it look more majestic and instead of skinny on this uh like fat polar bear head it kind of stretches out a little bit and uh, it's nice so i was able to do a little blending with the fur so it looks like the fur is kind of combing over some parts of the horns and i decided to give the horns a very light shadow too so that uh, in the parts where it's uh, not fuzzy you can uh, see that there's a, a little bit of uh, an overhang there so it makes it look more real so yeah you can see it really fuzz things up a little bit and now uh now that we have this beastie kind of together we're moving on to the uh, blackiston's owl now these owls are interesting they're fish owls and uh, i knew right when i saw these guys uh, i tried using their wings but when i couldn't use their wings i knew i wanted to use them so oh excuse me nice little burp there um but uh, when i got these uh, this owl i realized i wanted those freaky looking feathers on the side of its face i thought that those would look really funny and i wasn't sure that they'd originally cover the ears of the polar bear uh, but i decided to and it gives it this like really freaky masquerade look and not at all what my original idea for this beast was because i thought we were going to make some kind of like hulking you know russian beast um, but this creature ended up being a little bit more subtle than that it's kind of uh, interesting it seems to like the other northern beasts that we did that had polar bears they were standing upright all the bears that we've done so far have been standing upright actually so this is kind of an outlier it's a unique creature that we've created and I imagine this one kind of like slinking through the, the the tundra, Siberia, all that kind of stuff, using its giant eagle eyes to see out uh, into the into the horizon. And uh, same thing with the fur. I fluff up those feathers a little bit so they look a little bit more natural. And then we move on to the wolverine. Now, wolverines, uh, I forgot to mention them earlier, but they are an iconic uh, Russian animal. Uh, they're a pretty badass creature. They're the European honey badgers, basically. And uh, wolverines, much like... Like uh, Wolverine from Marvel does not give a crap about anything and I thought it would be cool to have this little tail uh, so that the uh, Wolverine tail would end up looking like a bobcat tail on the end of uh, the tiger <laughs> a little stub tail and I thought it would be funny uh, maybe uh, you know it doesn't need all that balance it's not a, a tree climbing predator like a, a tiger you know it's just trying to survive it's feisty it's a fighter living in the Russian tundras so it doesn't really need uh, that crazy of a tail I don't, I don't know why you'd have a big tail but um, I kind of botched this when I was erasing it. It looks like a caterpillar, ate a leaf, but I fluffed it out and it ended up giving it kind of a unique shape. And uh, I like the way it turned out. 
So I've got no complaints there. And uh, this is my favorite part. <laughs> Blended it right into the butt of the tiger. And uh, now we're moving on to the stellar sea eagle. Now, these eagles are huge. They're bigger than bald eagles. They're absolute beasts. Look at that beak. It's just a unit. And apparently there's been uh, sightings of them in Western United States uh, recently. And um, that's pretty cool. I mean, it's pretty badass that these giant eagles are uh, living on this side of the world. Apparently they can live in the Arctic Circle, uh, but they kind of go back to Russia. Uh, and the fact that they're living on the coast is uh, kind of weird, uh, but still pretty cool. They're, uh, I think they were spotted as far down as, uh, uh, maybe uh, as far down as California. I could be wrong there, but it was like unusually far down south that they saw these eagles, but uh, they're monstrous and uh, they'll eat pretty well anything. Uh, the same things bald eagles eat. So uh, basically everything that moves and, um, I just think like big eagles like this are super cool. Like they have those big claws. They're basically just death on wings, un undestructible. Nothing can get at them. They're just hanging out in the sky and they just come down and grab stuff. Horrifying. It's crazy to think that there were like giant prehistoric eagles that definitely picked human beings up <laughs> and took them away. It would definitely be traumatizing to pour a little tuk-tuk out there living in his cave. So we got the wings up. Of course, we have to have wings on all our beasts. I love having wings. It just makes it look more mythical. And here I thought we'd cut the one wing out so we could throw it behind the tiger's body and uh, add some more depth to it. I like doing this because it makes it look more like a, a living creature. You know what I mean? So uh, the wings, got them all organized. I linked them back up once uh, we set it up. I'm not properly linked them up, but uh, so I could maneuver them at the same time. Added some fluffing so it looks a little bit more natural and uh, the little scruff on the tiger. This is my favorite part, honestly. I, I find this portion of the video is to be uh, super satisfying, watching the swipes. And it looks so cool when it's all sped up. So it's uh, pretty funny. And this tiger looks really cool with the stub tail. I'm not gonna lie, it looks like a lynx or a bobcat. It's pretty, pretty freaking badass looking, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it, it's weird how a shorter tail makes a tiger look that much more intimidating. Or it might look intimidating if it didn't have those giant goofy owl eye <laughs> the owl eyes just look ridiculous all right so we've got the creature done the creature was easy and i had a background picked out so uh, we got a sunset backdrop and nice i'm not sure if this is in russia but i just needed somewhere that was cold and had snow just know that it's russia and uh, we shrink the beastie down a little coffee keep me going and of course we blend the little tiger paws into the snow I was trying to uh, line it up with the uh, with the footpaths that are there. I think it turned out pretty good. And of course, the brown bears that I teased earlier. I'm about the brown bears. Uh, Russia's got a ton of their own unique bears, and I thought we gotta add them because it's kind of like the iconic symbol of Russia, the big, super strong brown bear. Yeah, they have polar bears, but the brown bear is their thing. And I found this picture of a cute little family of uh, little brown bears, so I thought, let's throw them on in. We'll uh, throw them in by this bush clean it up. I've been using the eraser tool a lot in this one, which is um, interesting. Usually I crop them, but because they were so small and in the background, I decided it didn't really matter how clean their cuts were because the background's white anyway. It's snow, so it's going to blend in. And uh, we added a wolverine. I uh, wasn't sure what I was going to do with all of these background elements at first uh, because the beast itself was so big and this background is kind of weird. Uh, but I had some uh, ideas that I thought would be pretty funny. And uh, the wolverine was just kind of a placeholder this point it was just sitting um but it looks cute it's a goof they're funny looking animals and i like that it's just running through the snow i considered adding this little fox for a while but decided to swap the fox out for a shirtless uh, putin <laughs> riding on a horse and i thought it was just so funny like how could i do a video about russia without including some kind of meme about putin so i thought it'd be funny just to include him in the uh, canadian video which was the first photoshop video that we ever did um i had uh, Tr justin trudeau sitting on top of a tim Hort and I thought that this would be funny. We've got this beast presumably out in uh, the Russian countryside in the winter and it uh, happens upon uh, <laughs> Putin and uh, eventually I'm pretty sure I turned that Wolverine into his little pet. It's almost like he's taking his pet Wolverine. Yeah, exactly right here. This is where I uh, move everything over I think. Yeah, and I decide that the Wolverine is actually uh, Putin's pet and he's taking the Wolverine out for a stroll in the winter while he's shirtlessly riding his horse. And of course it wouldn't be uh, 
uh, a video about Russia unless I included some vodka. So here we go, trimming it up. This video uh, turned out pretty good. I'm really happy with the way uh, the Photoshop turned out. It's kind of goofy looking, but <laughs> I love a goofy return. My, my return to YouTube after a month or two, uh, getting settled in a new part of the world. And uh, now we're all good to go. And I thought that I would put it in a whiskey glass, something like that. But um, I think ultimately I decided on doing a red solo cup. And while I decide on a red solo cup, um, reminder, once again, if you're enjoying this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. It helps me out a whole lot. And again, leave a comment down below. And there we go. We've got the uh, solo cup nice and settled down in the snow. It looks sharp. We're building a whole scene, cleaning some stuff up. And um, there wasn't really a bird that I thought I could pull in there, but uh, I clean up some of the shadows, bring it down. And uh, ultimately, I'm pretty happy with how this video turned out. Uh, it, it turned out really well. The beast is kind of goofy looking. It's not as uh, crazy or savage as I was thinking it was going to be. Um, but uh, ultimately, I think this turned out. I love the bottle of vodka. I love the three bears just hanging out doing their thing. It's a, a whole lot of fun and uh, just a lot of fun stuff going on in this video. But uh, anyone who tuned in and made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. This final picture just looks beautiful. I did a little shading uh, on the outside like after the video was done because there were some things that I noticed that weren't quite the way I wanted it. So you see some of the shadows are different there like on Putin and on the bear, some of the background elements. Uh, but again, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, this video, like I said, turned out way better than I thought. It's goofy as hell, uh, but it feels good. That's what I like. It feels good to be back and uh, I definitely want to make more of these Photoshop videos for sure so uh, make sure you hit that like button that subscribe button leave a comment down below what country do you think I should do next what animals would you like to see what kind of random Photoshop video would you like to see me try to pull off I will do my absolute best to check it out I'm always reading the comments I'll respond the best that I can after the videos uploaded uh, but I'm pretty busy at my new job so uh, I don't know when my next video is gonna come out but it is definitely on the way so I appreciate it and if you've made it this far into the video just know that you are a champion and I love you. You are the best. And uh, as always, I'm Kazi signing off. Thank you so much for watching.